Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Thursday, April 17th, 2014, Class 176, Hand 24, Another Slam. This is a slam that on the surface uh, is a lot of bidding, but for practical aspects it's fairly straightforward. Let's begin using common sense. Here you are as south. The dealer is north, your partner, and your side is vulnerable. Bidding proceeds. One no trump by your partner. The next hand passes. And we'll ask the obvious questions. Question one, what are your starting points? And question two, what is your response? What are your starting points? You have 15 high card points. But I'm going to subtract one for the doubleton queen jack of hearts. It may not be worth as much. And I'm going to subtract one for a just three because you've got a lot of queens and jacks. But I'm going to add one for the five diamonds. Which is actually a quality suit. You could add two if you want to argue about it. So the total is 14 starting points. Maybe 15. You have three of the top five, so you do have a quality five-card diamond suit. What's your response? Well, it's a matter of system for you. You could just bid three no trump, but there's a possibility of a slam if you have a diamond fit. You don't know that. So the plan is I'm going to show diamonds along the way. Whether your system has a minor suit transfer or not, I'm going to you first use them and then show my diamonds. That is for forcing two game and partner may actually have a fit. So I'm going to bid two clubs. Now the next two rounds go as follows. Let's pass. Your partner bids two hearts. Well, that's kind of good in a sense. Your Queen Jack are probably worth a little more now. And now you plan on bidding three diamonds. This bid is forcing to gain. And partner bids three hearts. It's back to you for your third bid. Three diamonds shows diamonds, at least five and some level of slam interest. Question, what is partner telling you? Well, he's bid hearts twice, so you know, first time you know he has four, the second time you know he has a good four, and it also he's implying he has some form of a diamond fit. So the answers are, partner is telling you he has four or possibly five hearts with some kind of diamond support and slam interest. What is your next move? Well, three no trump. I've already made a hint towards slam and I don't have a lot of controls. I've got a lot of quacks. So I'm going to bid three no trump. I don't have a spade control and I've shown enough showing an interest in slam. It's up to partner now. Well, the bidding proceeds. Pass. Now your partner bids four spades. Pass, and it's back to you. Questions. What is partner telling you with the four spade bid? And you've got another bid to make. What do you think? Partner is telling you he has the Ace of Spades and he has strong slam interest because you've signed off at 3 no. So he must have good diamond support, good three, maybe four. Since I have the honors, I'm going to assume he probably has four diamonds. He has the Ace of Spades, good hearts, and slam interest. Well, it's pretty good. What is my fourth bid? 
knowing that he has a spade control now, I'm safe, I believe, in bidding for no trump. Now, since he opened one no trump, this is Roman key card 0314. But it's Roman key card. The bidding now proceeds. Pass. Your partner bids five clubs. And the next hand doubles. That's interesting. More questions. What is partner telling you with five clubs? What is East call of the double? And what's your call? Let's take them one at a time. Partner bid one step. 0314 is either 0 or 3. It must be 3. If he had 0, he wouldn't have proceeded past 3 no trump. And based upon what we're looking at, we know we have all the key cards. We have 3 aces. We have a diamond fit. What is East bid? His double is a lead directing double or club lead. That can't be too bad, but it's okay. What is your call? You're a little light to consider seven. You weren't thinking seven to begin with, but you're strong enough knowing you have all the key cards to go ahead and bid six diamonds. So you bid six diamonds. Six diamonds is followed by three passes. So you're in six diamonds. West leads the three of clubs. Not surprisingly, uh, given the double. Let's look at the dummy and do the obvious. Count your winners and plan the play. This is e actually quite simple once you look at it. Answers. Let's count winners. You have the Ace of Spades. You have four hearts provided you unblock the heart suit. You have enough entries to dummy. You have five diamonds and one club. That's 11 tricks. You need one more trick, and you can't lose two. Well, how can you plan the play? Well, you get can, you win whatever. It, king goes to ace of clubs. You pull trump, being sure that you save an entry in dummy for later on, because the heart suit is blocked. And now you can pitch your two losing clubs on the ace king of hearts then take the spade finesse even if it loses you're going to end up with two spade tricks that adds up to 12 so let's do it here we go win the ace of clubs now we need to pull trump and i'm going to pull them starting in my hand i want to keep entries on the board Diamond split, that's great. Now I need to take care of these losing club tricks. I'm going to cash my two hearts. And get over the board with a diamond. Just in case, let me keep all my options available. Let's go seven to the nine. Now I'm going to cash the ace king of hearts, pitching my clubs.
Now I get back to my hand. I don't even have to get back to my hand, but let me do it just for the sake of argument. I'll rough the last club. And I'm going to finesse the queen. He's going to cover. It's unfortunate, but I still have the jack of spades. I could try finessing again, but I really can't. So I might as well just play it out. And I have to give up the last trick with the ten of spades, making six diamonds. Well played. Tomorrow, Class 177, balancing. Do you know how to balance? See you tomorrow.